Marilyn Mazur, great to have you here. Welcome at the Kulturport Lounge here at Elb Jazz Festival. You did a great performance, thank you very much, with your cave spirit. Can you explain a little bit what's the focus on uh, the cave spirit you performed here? Yeah, uh, spirit cave. Spirit cave, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the, the members in this group all were all old friends. Uh, Ivan and um, well, Ivan and me played for a long time together in my group Future Song in the old days. And um, one day, Jan Bang invited me to come to his festival in Kristiansand in Norway yeah. to play a duo with him, mm -hmm. which actually turned into a trio. That's another matter. <laughs> um, and he plays a lot with, with also with Ivan. It's, it's like all we play in all these contexts. And one day we decided we wanted to make this group where we played together in this context. It's actually the first time we played with Abe Henriksen today in, in this group. Yeah. Normally we play with Nils Peter Molver. Mm -hmm. But we've all played with Ave in yeah. other settings again. I have all these Norwegian music friends. And uh, for this occasion, we decided this was a nice setting to try out. And uh, the concept is in a way improvising and talking to each other, meeting in, in the music and seeing what happens. And uh, the fun about playing with Jan Bang is that when someone plays something, he samples it and does something, who knows what, with it and sends it back yeah. and then you get it back in a new way. Right, the which electronic yes. mm, spirit. He samples these bits mm -hmm. and changes it. So the music comes back and keeps changing and you do something new that you react mm. to all the mm. time, mm. which is really a challenge and very exciting and we never know what's going to happen. So this is very exciting. So when it is recorded, is it, and you hear it afterwards, so you have a, another experience with hearing what you did before? Because you are so concentrated on your uh, percussion and about uh, the dialogue you have with the other musicians? Yes, that's actually what it's, what it's like playing yeah. in this group. Tell me, you played with so many big names. You played with Miles Davis, with uh, Wayne Shorter, also with uh, Jan Gabarek and uh, Palle Mikkelborg, for instance. Now you are a big name yourself. But what would you say is so important for a younger musician to play with these big names in terms of music, business, and also the experience of concerts? Well, from my point of view, it's not the most important that the names are big. Uh, it, the most important is to find someone that you can really communicate and relate to yeah. and understand musically and human-wise. Mm -hmm. But of course it also means a lot, it's meant a lot for me, for example, to have played with Miles. Of course means that after playing with Miles, then the world is much more open for me to do the things yeah. that are important for me. And of course also for young musicians today, when they play with um, more experienced people that also have a good name, it yeah. brings them of course out more, it's easier for them to mm. get gigs. But it also is very inspiring musically of course, that to play with someone that's really relaxed and knows about what it means to play right. music, so it's inspiring of yes. course, and you learn a lot from it. You played a lot in the United States, you played in Europe, of course. Is there any quality difference between the US and, and Europe? Or is it not the US and followed by European musicians? Is there a certain label, level? Well, yeah, well, for me there's, there's a big difference in yeah. the mental uh, approach to music. Yes. I really feel a lot at home in Europe. Mm. And I think it's a more collective spirit. It's not so much about being a star and being uh, having a, a strong identity, but it's more about the music, is my impression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That brings me to another question um, the, about language. Um, I had a, recently I had an interview with Gitte Henning, and I was asking her if it would be possible for her to sing in Danish language. Is it comparable? Is it somewhere fixed also with jazz? And she said, no way, no way. It's only possible in English for her. But she said, I know somebody. Marilyn Mazur, she is wonderful in, in the Danish language to sing oh. in jazz. So, oh. but, but I think it's, it's interesting to know because languages, the sound of languages is so different. Yeah. If you sing German or English or Danish, 
what is it for you? Is it does it make a, a different the sound of the language with with your drumming, with your uh, percussion? Yeah, of, of course it makes a difference, but it's just a different expression. It's like music. It's like I play a lot of instruments, yeah. so each instrument has its mm. vibration, its sound. Mm. It doesn't mean one is more important or better than the other. It's just different qualities. Yeah. So for me, I think English is a great po poetic language, mm -hmm. uh, but Danish has some other qualities. So it depends and very it, much yeah, on the... It depends on the person and the singer yeah. and the words mm -hmm. and a lot of things. But you are composing too. Are there any inspirations for you outside of music? Like, I know some... Uh, have film or certain images or fine art even as an inspiration. They see an image, a, a picture, a painting, and they got an idea also for a melody, for music, for a little piece of sound. So Definitely. Yeah. I mean, that? inspiration could be anything. <laughs> I, I've discovered that it very often for me is nature. Yeah. It's like mm. enjoying the springtime, the trees, the sun, mm. Mm -hmm. or a big storm it could be, or the ocean, yeah. things like that. It could also just be a mood. I'm in a certain mood that makes me want to express mm. that in music. It could be relations to people. It could also be hearing some music that really is strong and, oh, that's a great energy. And then, not that it should sound like that, but the energy, I'd like to bring that energy yeah. into yeah. a piece. So there's many possibilities. <laughs> Because I'm very much inspired by music to create images in my mind, for instance. So every time I hear music, I have a different uh, approaches to, to certain certain uh, visuals. Yeah, I could understand that. And of course, it could be the other way. Yeah. As colors yeah. or paintings right. Right. could be music. There are not so, so many female musicians in the world of jazz. They're dropping more and more into the system. But is it an issue which are you interested in uh, especially? Yes, it actually is. It has to, probably. Well, it has to be, because if, for me it's very important that music is as uh, whole as possible. Mm. And how could it be if they're not music yeah. with women also? So I think it's important that there are women in music. Ooh, it's loud. <laughs> um, it also is, is uh, one of the reasons I started playing drums, because I actually started as a piano player. And mm -hmm. I discovered there, well, there are no female drummers around. I have to do that. I have to see what happens if <laughs> yeah. I do that. And, uh, well, when I was young, there were more and more women that wanted to play. In Denmark, it started to go the other way again, which I find sad. Mm. On the other hand, it's a hard life, so I think it's up to people themselves. Yeah. It's not like women have to play. Yeah. It's not. I don't think like that. Mm. I just think it's great if yeah. there are a lot of women that want to play. And I think they probably have some some other qualities also. They don't have to play on the, on the rules and the conditions that mainly men invented. Mm -hmm. It's fun if we could think of another vibe, another way of playing without, I don't mean that we have to separate and say this is female, this is male, but yeah. it's good to have all the energy. Things, because the d energy is also different also for the audience, if, if it's a male or a female yeah, it looks energy. <laughs> right, yeah. at least it looks... Feel different yeah. also, probably. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. So you're playing a lot of concert, of course. You are invited to many festivals. What about the experience of elk jazz? I mean, the, the situation, I think the atmosphere is very special here, directly in the in the harbor. Yes, it is. I, I love I love it here, and I'm happy that I'm, I made it here. I was worried this afternoon because it rained oh, a lot. Oh, yes, it did. People don't want to stand in the rain. They don't all have to stand in the rain, but a lot of people yeah. would have. But then the sun came. Yes. So what right. can I complain about? <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, it's great being Marilyn here. Marilyn Mazur, thank you very much for coming thank here. Thank you too.